raw text data is mostly unstructured data. So in today's videos, we will see how to read such text data, which is not st structured. So for that, we will use a popular data set, UCI SMS spam collection data set. And I have given the link here for that website. And you can even uh, Google it, like UCI SMS spam collection data set, and you will find this site in the first result itself. And here you can go to the data folder and then you can download this SMS collection.zip. So I have already downloaded that. And uh, this is the file you will get inside that zip folder. So you can see that here it's a collection of just two columns. So every row is either a ham or a spam. And then this is the SMS message. So this is uh, will mainly be used for classification task like whether a given SMS is a spam or not. So we will use it uh, at multiple places in this course. So once you are ready with the data set, you can go ahead and then now we will start the actual coding. So here we will use two types of methods for reading the data set. One, one will be using the open function where we will just read the raw characters and then we will manually uh, clean these data. So you can see that here it's just two columns. This is separated by a tab. So it's a somewhat semi-structured data. It's not totally unstructured because we see some structure here that each message has one spam or ham and then tab separated and then the actual SMS message. So we will manually uh, read the characters and then uh, using the del delimiters, we will add it to a uh, pandas data frame. And the second would be the easier way where we will directly use pandas read CSV function. And this read CSV function is very easy uh, on working with tab separated data. So let's begin. So first we, we will see the first method, which will be using the open. So we will say raw data is equal to open and then that its its name is SMS spam collection. So we will pass that name here SMS spam collection and then dot read and then Let's print the first 500 characters that we just read. So let's run it. So uh, here you can see that after ham, there is a tab. And then go until journey. And then when this message ends, SMS message, then we have a new line character. Then again ham. And then again tab separation. And then again SMS and so on. So it had read all the characters in this uh, raw data. Now we will do parsing on it because we see that it has tabs and new line characters. So now we will have parsed data and it will be raw data dot replace. So first let's use a common delimiter. So we will replace all the tabs with new line characters so that we have just one delimiter and then split it based on new line and now let's print the past data its first 10 lines so let's run it so we see that in the first line we have ham because we had replaced this tab also with new line character. So every new line character will be split into a as a new element in this list. So first is ham, then the next is this message, then again ham, then again message, then spam, then message. So alternatively we have either ham or spam and then on the even positions we have the SMS message. So now we can uh, break this complete list into two lists. 
one list will contain all the spam or ham words and the other list will contain just the SMS messages. So we will call the first list as label list which will hold the labels spam or ham. And we will start from 0th index and the second would be empty then that that means it will go till, till the end and then we will advance by two step so first it will start from here it will get ham then two positions so it will skip this and again ham then spam and so on till the end and similarly we will have the actual message list it will be the same thing but here it will start from one one two. so now we have separated it into two lists so let's print these two let's check the first five elements of both of these zero to five and similarly label list zero to five and let's run it so we get some error message here so it says past list is not defined oh i have written here past data okay let's run it again so here i should start from one because the messages are at one three five and these labels are at zero two four now it should oh <laughs> so uh, actually i'm printing the same thing here so now you can see that uh, the first list has the labels first five labels and the second list has first five messages now we have information separated into two lists so we can combine these two in a way that we can use for analysis so let's now uh, import pandas pandas as pd and now we will have combined both these lists so combined data frame we will use pandas data frame and this expects a dictionary where we will specify both the co the columns here we have just two columns so we will specify the first column as level and then the list which will be used for that column so we will use the level list so the name of the first column will be label and that column will hold all the levels and then we have the second level which will have sms and for that we will use this message list and then we can print it so we have combined df dot head so it will print the first five elements first five rows of this data frame so again we have some error arrays must be of the same length so let's let's check their lengths let's print the length of label list and then print message list and let's comment it out So here we see that a label has one row extra. Its count is one extra. So it 
this one is extra label so let's print what's in the end of this list so let's print label list let's print last three rows of this label list so we see that it's ham ham and this empty so this is redundant coming from the end of the file so because we have alternated uh, every row so this is wrongly appended here so this should not be there so now we can go ahead and skip one row from this label list now we will have equal lengths and let's run it now now it prints so we have printed the first five rows of this data frame and you can see now that some structure coming out so we have cleaned our data we have divided into two columns one column is label one is sms so the label holds either ham or spam and the sms column holds the corresponding sms message so now we have cleaner version of the initial semi structure data now let's see the shortcut method method 2 read csv so this pandas read csv function is very uh, good in reading text data easily which are tab separated so we can write data set is equal to pd dot read csv we have already imported pandas as pd so we can read it and the name of the file sms spam collection and we also need to pass the separator so here the separator is tab and then header is equal to none so this is required because uh, this actual text file just starts from this label and sms message it does not contain uh, the name of the columns so when we read it in pandas data frame using read csv function then it will automatically convert this first ham as the name of the first column and this as the name of the second column so which will not be meaningful so if we pass header equal to none then it will not include this first row or the header row now let's uh, go ahead and print the first five rows of this data set so again we see that we have the same data but it has named the columns as 0 and 1 so so this was a very easy way of doing the same thing so now the uh, clean data is ready for the next steps in the NLP pipeline. So we will see more of it in the future lessons. So thanks for watching.